a look at Loungefly. Hey everyone, I'm Liz and welcome back to this week's episode of A Look at Loungefly. Today I'm here to chat with you about our spring Bambi collection and we are super excited that we not only have bags, but some great apparel pieces for you as well. In this collection, we have some great pieces like our mini backpack, our crossbody, and our wallet. This collection, we wanted to go after a really fresh, kind of pastel springy palette, and we tied it all together with this great gingham print. It also has this pop of pink with the bow detailing, some great scallop edging on all the pieces, and throughout the whole collection, really beautiful embroideries. As part of our Bambi collection, we have this adorable loungefly.com exclusive, which features one of my favorite scenes where Flower peeks out from the flowers to chat with Bambi. So it's this great kind of all over with lots of layered appliques of Bambi and Flower. What's great about this mini backpack is the scene wraps around the side so the flowers come around and you have this great little butterfly zipper pull as well. And of course, to tie back to all of these bags, we wanted to give you some great apparel pieces to wear with them. So here we have our unisex t-shirt, which features Bambi and friends in this great, a little bit oversized all over print in the same spring palette to tie back to the bags. And I'm wearing our unisex hoodie from the Bambi collection. And my favorite part of this is it has this great scallop trim on the pocket that ties back to the trims on the bags. As always, we have our pin trading lanyard draw cords, so you can put all of your favorite lounge fly pins right here, especially when you're in the park, so I wanna do some trading. A fun detail on all of our hoodies is just like our mini backpacks have our metal lounge fly plaques, our hoodies have a silicone lounge fly plaque. So just in time for spring, all of these pieces, bags, and apparel are available now to purchase on loungefly.com. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Funko Fun TV. Let's play Funko Games. Hello gamers and welcome to this week's episode of Let's Play Funko Games. I'm Adam and today we are talking about something wild, specifically the card game, something wild. Uh, we have a bunch of different editions, but today we are taking a trip to a galaxy far, far away and talking about two of our Star Wars editions of something wild. We have Something Wild Star Wars Classic featuring a pocket pop of Darth Vader. We also have Star Wars Mandalorian with a pocket pop of our favorite 50 year old kid, Grogu. Something Wild is a fast paced, easy to learn card game. You'll be building sets and runs. Sets are three cards of the same number of any color and runs are three cards in order of the same color. So for example, a two, a three, and a four that are all red. When you play a set, you're gonna get a power card. The first person to score three power cards wins. When you have control of the pocket pop figure, you'll be able to use those power cards. Either the power card that's in the middle of the table or any of the power cards that you've scored previously in the game. You get control of the pocket pop when you play a card that's the same color as the face-up power card that's in the middle of the table. Game setup is simple. You're gonna shuffle the 10 power cards that come with the set you're playing with and flip the top power card face-up on the pile. Then you're gonna place the pocket pop figure beside the pile. Shuffle all of the character cards and deal three each to each player as a starting hand. You may look at your hand, but keep it secret from the other players. Place the rest of the deck face down next to the powers, leaving space for a discard pile. The youngest player goes first. On your turn, you're going to draw the top card of the deck into your hand. Then you're going to play one card from your hand face up in front of you. If you played a card that's the same color as the face up power card that's in the center, or that has a take figure symbol, take the figure. If you have control of the figure, you may use one power that you have already scored or the face-up power symbol in the middle of the table. If there is a set or run of three cards face-up in front of you, you score. Discard the three cards you used to score, take the face-up power card as a reward, then you're going to discard if you have more than five cards face-up in front of you. Discard until there are only five. Then play passes to the left. And that is something wild. Whether you choose to play for the light side or the dark side or somewhere in between, we have the perfect set of something wild for you. I'm Adam, thank you for watching, and until next time, let's play. Ooh.